welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the DC Universe animated movie Justice League The Fatal Five. Well Justice League versus The Fatal Five. As you can see this is my uh, version of it right here. Now they had like a collector's edition of this which had like the usual figures in it but it was only like a 4K and I have been getting like 4K videos but I just, I just decided to uh, make a pass on that one you know. And it had like the figure of a uh, Starboy, who was actually like the uh, almost kind of like the uh, the, uh, the protagonist of the film to a certain extent. If you want to touch on Superman, Batman, or Wonder Woman, you know he's actually like the protagonist of the film and what the film itself is actually about. Actually, he is a big part of the film itself too, as well, you know. And it's like Green Lantern, who is known as I think Jessica Cruz, if I'm not mistaken. And I wasn't really too familiar with that uh, particular version of the Green Lantern, you know. I didn't know they had that version of a uh, Green Lantern. There was a woman, you know, I wasn't really familiar with that, you know. But anyway, this film is about the, uh, this group known as the Fatal Five. And they are time traveling, like, uh, bandits or something like that. But they are time traveling. And they're actually out to, uh, seek out this new Green Lantern, who I, who I, who I, who I mentioned before is known as, uh, Jessica, I think that's her name. She's actually, like, the Green Lantern that they are actually out there, you know. So the group may actually made their, 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 uh, trip to, like, Metropolis in search of this woman known as uh, Jessica, I think, Cruz. I think that was her last name. I think it was Cruz, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Jessica Cruz. And she's like a Green Lantern, you know. And she is like familiar with like the other lanterns. I'm not going to really touch on all that, you know. But that's basically what the film itself is about. There's a group of the, uh, known as the Fatal Five. And there's actually only like three of them, like, you know, for the bulk of the film who are actually pursuing uh, this Green Lantern known as Jessica Cruz, you know. So that's basically what the film itself is actually about, you know. Other than that, you know, it just has like time traveling elements into it as well. Plus you have, like I said, the character of a uh, star boy, you know, who's actually, he actually joins the Fatal Five. Well, not joins them, but he actually is like sucked with them back into your, uh, like the past when they come back to Earth to Metropolis, you know. Because he's actually from the future. He's actually from the 31st century. Even them to themselves, like the Fatal Five, they are actually from like the, uh, the 31st century. So at the beginning of the film, they are attacking like this, like this place. I forget what it's called, you know. And somehow they are actually like they leave from uh, that particular area. Yeah, it's known as the Legion of the Superheroes. They actually leave from that area, and at the same time, when they leave, you know, Starboy himself, he actually hatches his own so like the time traveling, like a, uh, I guess you could say, like spaceship. They get in, and he is actually going back into. They, they take a trip back into the past, you know, to the twenty first century, which is present day, you know. And that's basically what the film itself is like dealing with that right there. And them trying to find out, trying to find and locate uh, Jessica Cruz, who is a Green Lantern, you know. Now, I thought this film was okay, you know. It was, it was pretty entertaining. I liked it. And the animation, as usual, was always pretty good, you know. And it was directed by Sam Liu. And, like, the big bonus of it, you know, is you have Kevin Conroy, who's voicing, like, Batman in this animated film. So, I think that's a cool and awesome plus, you know. Another thing I think is kind of cool about it, too. Is the animation that like the look of the film? It looks very similar to like the classic like uh, animated series, mainly like the Superman one, like the Superman from like the, uh, the animated series in the '90s. You know, it, the Superman in this film really looks like that Superman. You know, now the Batman is kind of different. You know, he doesn't look how he looks like an animated series, but the Superman he does look how he looks like in that '90s animated series. You know, so I think that was kind of interesting. That even like some of the other other animation like this in the film, you know, you can tell it's kind of very close to that idea of. The animated like series from the nineties look that you know, but it has like an updated look to it, you know. The action scenes were awesome and pretty cool, you know. There's moments where Superman gets wounded, not surprised at how he got wounded, you know, you get some bleed and stuff. I mean you see that like in other films and stuff too with Superman, you know, but it's kinda cool and interesting in saying that. <clears throat> Plus you see like other like Green Lantern characters, they made their appearances in this film too as well, you know. That's like very like, you know, well known like in the Green Lantern like universe, you know. And it was also interesting getting a look at uh, Starboy, who I wasn't really too familiar with, you know. He's actually uh, known as uh, Thomas, I think that's his actual name, is Thomas. And I wasn't really too familiar with him, but I like like his look, like his cool, like, like the look of his costume. It's like stars all over, I think that's kind of awesome, like look like the way his costume looked at. Plus like the way it's like animated, you know, I thought it was kind of cool, you know. You also get to see uh, Mr. Terrific, you know, I thought that was kind of cool, you know, because I'm very familiar with him off of Arrow, you know, and I think that was kind of cool that they had him 
on that too as well. He's like a big part of the Justice League, so I think that was kind of cool that he was on that too as well, you know. There are like other characters and stuff who make appearances that just seems at Arkham, you know, where you see like various like Batman characters like uh, Two-Face, like Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, you know. They kind of make appearances, but it's like cameo appearances, you know. But in uh, Justice League versus the Fate of Five, like I said, it was pretty entertaining, but that is only, only what the film itself is about. If you're not really paying attention to it, it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to actually follow and understand what was really going on, you know. Now, you know that the Fate of Five, which is really a group of three people, are seeking out the, um, the Justice League, I mean, well, the Green Lantern, known as uh, Jessica Cruz, you know. And the, the Fate of Five are known as, I think, Thal Rock, Persuader, and Mano. That's the, the, the group, you know, of these, uh, this Fate of Five, the martyr ones in the group, you know. But yeah, in the end, like I said, I'm giving this a, um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was like a fun, pretty, pretty fun movie, you know. And I wasn't really too familiar with like the other uh, Starboy character, you know, so I was kind of interested. And it's like Jessica Cruz, Green Lantern, you know. I wasn't really too familiar with that one, you know. But in uh, the Justice League vs. The Fate of Five, I'm going to give it a B-, minus, you know. I would definitely recommend it for like fans of The Justice League, you know. Or if you're fans of Psycho, like the Green Lantern I'd be, you know, I think you'd probably be kind of into this. Because there are lots of like Green Lantern elements in the film itself, you know. So I'm giving Justice League versus the Fate of Five. I'm giving this a B minus. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.